In Uganda, my friends said that they, 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 their mahar is usually a chicken or a goat or a cow. I remember my, one of my friends is back in Uganda, he said, uh, <laughs> he said the, the, the woman's dowry was a rooster and two eggs. <laughs> Could have been four eggs, that's two, two eggs and a rooster. And wallahi, the, the day came and the rooster and eggs weren't there. And the woman refused to say yes to the marriage. She says, I want my rooster and eggs right now. Wallahi, they, they went walking. It's big, you know, there's no cars. And then they went, maybe an hour later, got the rooster, brought it in with the eggs. She says, there's your mahar. She said, okay, now I agree. And she made lots of money out of that rooster. She made lots of money. So the thing is that it doesn't matter. The mahar can be anything that the wife wants and demands. It can be a lot. It can be a little bit. The advice that the Prophet ﷺ gave is, take it easy.